Hey guys, it's Ro, it's the weekend, and look who I'm hanging out with. <gasps> it's Doug the Pug. Good boy, Doug. You're so handsome. Come sit here. I am so excited, Doug. You probably don't remember this, but we met a couple years ago in New York at StreamCon. You were dressed as Harry Potter. You were so adorable. I waited in line, we took a picture. It was pretty much the best day ever. So today I wanted to make a theme treat in your honor. So today we are gonna be making pug cupcakes. I also got a lot of requests from you guys to make some pug cupcakes. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. <laughs> the things you'll need for these peanut butter pug cupcakes will be half a cup of creamy peanut butter, half a cup of butter at room temperature, half a cup plus two tablespoons of honey, three fourths cup of sugar, two large eggs at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, fourth a teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoon of baking powder, one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, and half a cup of whole milk. Then the things you'll need to decorate will be vanilla buttercream frosting that I've dyed tan, fitted with a number two A tip, black fondant, pink fondant, white fondant, a fondant tool, a small rolling pin. You'll also need different cookie cutters. There's a little teardrop, a small square, an extra small square, a small oval, and an extra small oval. You'll also need a number 12 tip. We're gonna be using the top and a number five tip. We're gonna be using the top. Doug, have you ever baked a cupcake before? That's okay. We're also twinsing today. Did you guys notice? We called each other. I texted him and I was like, hey Doug, can we wear matching shirts? And he was like, cool. The first thing that we're gonna do to make our peanut butter cupcakes is whisk together our dry ingredients, our flour. I'll pour it, cause you have paws. Baking powder. Yeah, smells kind of funny, doesn't it? Yeah, we have to mix it in first. And salt. Oh wait, Doug, not yet. Wait till it's a cupcake. Then whisk together until well combined. Before we cream our butter and sugar, Doug, I had to tell you that you are my first animal guest on the show and I am so excited it's you. Now in a larger bowl, we are gonna cream together our butter and peanut butter, sugar, and honey until it's light and fluffy. I'm gonna be using an electric hand mixer, but you can also do it by hand with a whisk. Now we are going to add our eggs one at a time. So I'm gonna add an egg, mix it up, scrape down the sides, add the second egg, mix it up and scrape down the sides. Then pour in the vanilla extract and mix it up. Doug, have you ever cracked an egg before? Let's see what you can do. I'm trusting that you're not gonna eat the batter before we bake these. Our butter mixture is ready. Now we are gonna alternate adding our dry ingredients and milk to our butter mixture, starting and ending with dry. Add a third of our dry ingredients, mix it up, then half of the milk, mix it up. Another third of the dry, mix it up. The other half of the milk, mix it up. And ending with the last third of the dry, and mix it up. I know, Doug, this part takes longer than I'd like, but it's baking science. You gotta do it for the science, Doug. Trust me. his biscuit tail. It's time to scoop the batter into the cupcake tray. Over here, I've got a cupcake tray lined with a bunch of paper liners, and I'm gonna be using an ice cream scoop. This is a pretty cool trick. Doug, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. Yeah, isn't that pretty neat? Scoop the batter, and you're gonna fill each cupcake tray about two thirds full. Oh, this smells good, huh? This is the hard part, Doug. You can't eat them yet. Yeah. Me too. Cupcakes are ready to bake. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees and bake them for 18 to 20 minutes. Doug, not yet. We gotta wait. While the cupcakes are baking, we are gonna make our decorations out of fondant. Over here, I have marshmallow fondant that I have dyed pink, black, and a little bit regular, just white. And I have a bunch of different cutters over here that I'm gonna be using to make the little pug shapes. Doug, you just stay there. You're gonna be my model. I'm gonna make all the shapes look just like you. So you just relax. I'm rolling the fondant out on top of a piece of parchment paper so it won't stick to the work surface. Now we're gonna be cutting out all of the different shapes 
based on a pug's face. We have a small oval, a small square, a teardrop, and a little bit larger square. So just cut out a bunch of them. Do do do. Like this. Oh, 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 oh. Then lastly, using a number 12 tip, I'm gonna be using the smaller end, and these will be the pug's eyes. Now let's get into the details. These larger little squares, we're gonna be cutting in half the diagonal way. These are gonna be your ears. Then take the teardrop, the little puppy jowls or puppy lips, and we're gonna poke a few holes in them because they have a few pores there for their whiskers. Then for the little pug nose, cut your ovals in half. Once you have all of your black fondant designs ready, you can set them off to the side and we're gonna roll out our white and pink fondant. For our pink fondant, we're gonna be using the larger small oval. Cut these out, these are gonna be the pug's tongues. For a little extra detail, take a toothpick and press it down the middle. For the white fondant, place the top end of a number five tip down to cut out little circles. This will be the pug's eye reflection. Our cupcakes have baked, they've had plenty of time to cool, and now it is time for my favorite part, Doug. It's time to frost and decorate. In this piping bag, I have a little bit of vanilla buttercream frosting with a number two A tip. I'm gonna start on the outside and work my way in, and boom, these are the little wrinkles. They kind of look like your face. What do you think? Yeah. Time to assemble. Now I'm gonna assemble all of our little fondant decorations to look like a pug. Doug, you stay there. I need you to model. We're gonna start with the tongue. I'm gonna place it here, about halfway onto the cupcake. Then take a small square, place it on top, and two little jowls. Yeah, boom. Then place a half oval on top for a little puggy nose. Now the two triangles for the pug ears. Last but not least, we need two cute little eyeballs. And there we have it, a pug cupcake. Ah, Ta-da! Here are the peanut butter pug cupcakes that we made today. They are adorable, they look like cute little pugs. And Doug, I think this looks pretty similar to you. What do you think? Do you think like you're looking into a mirror? A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something pug themed and a huge thank you to Doug the Pug for hanging out with me today. This was a dream come true. I'm gonna put all of his links down below. So go follow him, go subscribe, show him some love. Also, I'll be taking pictures of these cupcakes and posting the recipe on WorldZanaPanzino.com, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, so you can check them out there. And if you guys make these treats, please take a picture and send them to me. I love seeing your baking creations. Also, send them to Doug. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Bye-bye. You're the best baking assistant I've ever had.